Hi. Um, so, a few weeks ago, my teacher assigned us a project. Um, my teacher doesn't like me, so he made me work by myself. Um, so, despite him, I'm making a video about Mario Kart. Haha. -ha. Take that. Um, so, anyways, uh, the video is about Mario Kart, and I'm going to be using this green screen behind me to make Mario Kart look cool and stuff, and like be in Mario Kart to like look right now. Um, I am in Coconut Mall. You've been Coconut Mauled. And now I'm in front of my physics teacher. I'm gonna say hi, Mr. Hagerman. Um, yeah, so green screen's pretty cool. Um, I'm taking something really cool like Mario Kart, and then I'm combining it with something really lame like physics to get something okay. Um, I'm wearing this shirt because this was the shirt I would wear when I'd play Mario Kart every day. Um, yeah, so... Without further ado, uh, I'm going to teach you guys about the physics behind drifting and how it correlates to Mario Kart. Uh, transition. So, Mario Kart. So, I'm talking about Mario Kart. Woo! Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart! Um, Mario Kart's a really cool game. I think it's actually the first video game I ever played. I got my Wii in 2008, and it came with Mario Kart, and I played Mario Kart. Mario Kart was released August 27th, 1992 to the general public. It's the best-selling game of all time, best-selling uh, series of all time, uh, all the Mario Kart games, all eight of them. The game itself is a game basically where you race. You get to play as your favorite Mario Kart characters, and you get to race them across really, really cool tracks, very creative, very video game-like. Uh, it makes racing fun. I thought that being good at Mario Kart directly correlated to being a good driver. Um, it does not, but it's a great game nonetheless. So, drifting was introduced into Mario Kart in Mario Kart 64, which was the third uh, title released in the series. Um, in it, it allowed you to do drifts, and in these drifts, you could get mini turbos. And when you'd hold a drift long enough, you'd get a mini turbo. When you'd release it, you'd get a little boost. Uh, so it gave incentive to drifting around corners. Mini turbos gave you an incentive to drift because you'd get a boost. But how does drifting work? Like, what's the physics behind that? Um, and why would it give you a boost in Mario Kart? Is there any correlation? Is it just an incentive created by the game? Or is there an actual real life reason? Does drifting genuinely give you an advantage in going faster when you're driving? What is enacted is the force of friction between the tire and the track, which is called traction. When the wheels face perpendicularly to the direction the car is moving, it begins to move in a curved path. That's a normal turn. Now, a regular driver may come into a drift and not know what to do and not turn their wheels and as a result spin out and fly off the asphalt track that they're driving on. But if you know how to drift, once you enter the skid, you turn your wheels perpendicular to the way that your car is moving to create a drift because your wheels will overcome the force of friction and navigate you on the bend, allowing you to do really, really tight turns. Controlled oversteer is when the rear slip angle is greater than the front slip angle. Your back tires are losing grip, throwing you into a sideways slide. It creates a greater slip angle because your car is traveling straight, but your tires are going in different directions, or specifically perpendicular to the way that your car is going. You enter a drift by entering a curve at an unusually sharp angle, causing your wheels to escape friction, forcing a slide from your car. These are drifts being performed in real life by professional drivers. And then this is me drifting in Mario Kart. No! So now we get to the most important question. In Mario Kart, bikes are actually faster than cars, um, so I always use a bike, but bikes are faster than cars. So the real question is, can you drift with a motorcycle or a bike? 
because with a car you need all four wheels they need to be turned in the different direction create slip angle in 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 short yes you can all you have to do is uh turn your back tire perpendicularly to the direction that you're going uh you start to do a drifting turn and most bikers will say it's pretty fun according to google uh does that mean i am capable of performing a uh, drift with a bike no does that mean i'm perform able of performing a drift with a car no but a mario kart i'd say i'm pretty good at it no um so yeah that's drifting wow um i decided to throw on some of my highlights of my coolest drifts um so that you guys could see i'll put some cool music behind it um if if you like it uh just like comment saying wow eli you're so good at mario kart um wow eli maybe maybe you can go pro because you're not passing physics this year um hags please give me an a um yeah but thank you for watching that's how uh that's the physics behind drifting in mario kart um yeah and don't forget to don't forget to uh, make me famous so that i can take my physics teacher's job um thank you for watching peace